Hello, hello! Welcome to Lightroom. I am a huge fan of Lightroom to make your pictures look better, so I'm going to walk you through this. It will look the same on your phone as on your computer. The icons are just on the bottom instead of on the side if you're using your phone, but both work fantastic. So I'm going to try to make this part really quick so you can just go back and play, but if you're ever stuck, just come back and go through each different section, okay? We are going to start with just going through how to upload pictures and then we're going to edit them in three different ways. So we are going to start with just getting your pictures into Lightroom. Hopefully you've downloaded this either onto your phone or onto your computer and it's the same way to add in both. You're just going to look for this plus sign. On your phone it's the plus and the image icon put together. So we're going to go here and you just hit plus and hit browse and you're going to go find your pictures. Now I've already uploaded some so I'm just going to skip this part. Now in here I'm going to show you kind of things I've played with. I went out and I took some pictures. We have this one showing rule of thirds where the birds are off to the side and if I did that imaginary tic-tac-toe board I can see the birds would be where those lines would cross. I have some leading lines. I did the path in the forest preserve and it kind of leads you into the center down towards the middle and I have some that um, are just like some texture things in here and some diagonal lines. You can see our rule number three was diagonal lines. There are some there. And then I just did cracks in the pavement and just really played with color to make it look different. So those are the first three rules that we played with. Now let's go in and let's do some editing on some of these pictures. So once you have them in, you can just double click on one of them and it's gonna open up larger. So we are gonna start first with our leading lines. All right, so here's my picture. The first thing I want you to do is you're going to crop your picture. Now I like to do this before I do anything else just so I get rid of the stuff I don't want. In here you have lots of ways to crop. So you're looking for where it says original and of course I can just pull these pieces in but maybe I want to already put this for Instagram. So I'm going to go one to one and make it square and I'm going to put the center, these leading lines, right into the center of the picture. And you can see it already has the lines for rule of thirds. Or maybe I'm going to print this out later and so I want to do an 8 by 10 or a 4 by 5. Uh oh, it's going the wrong way. If that happens to you, you're just looking for this icon right here and it's a rotate and it's going to rotate the crop box so that you can make a crop. So let's say I did that and I said, okay, that's good and I'm gonna go now to my color editing. Oh wait, I cut off the tops of the trees. I don't like that. Here's the great thing with Lightroom. Anytime you go back to the crop, you're gonna see the entire picture and you can change it. Nothing is permanent. So I'm gonna go back and actually, I'm gonna do it square so that I can use this for Instagram. I'm gonna take this corner in just a little bit to make sure it's perfectly in the center. I like that. All right, our next one we're gonna go to is over here. Now if you're on your phone these are separated out. This is your adjustments but it's separated out into color, presets, light, all those things are different. So we're going to start first with light. Now one of the rules when you're editing is to do these things in this order. It is to go highlights down, shadows up, whites up, blacks darker. Okay, that's just kind of the rule always when you're editing. Um, so I'm going to show you one picture where I've done that so you can see why that's true. So I'm just going to switch for a second into this one. It's my cat. It's Mr. Modigliani. So I'm going to click and show you the before and the after with those adjustments. So in the before, do you see by his nose under his eye how bright that is? When I made that adjustment, it is not as strong. So that's a really good example. Okay, so I'm going to go back here. So again, that is highlights down, shadows up, whites up, blacks down. Okay, so that's our first adjustments. My next favorite one is under color. So in color, you can do vibrance. Now vibrance is going to be your cool colors, your greens and your blues. And so make them a little zingy. You can see as I pull that up how bright that sky gets. It's going to be really great. You want to be careful with saturation. Saturation can be your warm tones like the ground. So if I do that, you can see it gets a little weird. The ground gets these really weird colors. So I tend to do vibrance first because it still looks natural. It just looks exciting. And then maybe a little bit of the saturation. 
So let's look at our before and after. If you're on your phone, if you just tap on the screen and hold it, you're going to see the before and the after. If you're on your computer, it's down here, and you just click, there's my before, there's my after. It's a really big change right away, and that's pretty great. Okay, so we're going to leave that one. Those are just your first basic edits, the light and the color. All right, now let's go do something a little bit more advanced. We're going to switch and we're going to make something into black and white. So I'm going to go to this one. I'll show you what it looks like at the end. So it makes the trees look like snow, which is really great. So I'm just going to reset this and we're going to start over. All right, there we go. Okay, so in here again, I'm going to go ahead and crop. And this time I'm going to crop to an 8 by 10 because I want most of this path. I'm just going to move it down a little bit cut it from the corner. There we go. All right, now let's go to our color. So here's one of the great things. In my color, I can just take the saturation and I can take it all the way down. And suddenly I have a black and white. Another thing I can do is I can hit the black and white button. If I hit the black and white button, as I change things, it already keeps in black and white for me. So I can still do my highlights down, shadows up, whites brighter, blacks darker. I could even play with contrast a little bit and get more texture down in that ground. That looks pretty great. So that's a really easy way to make your picture into black and white. I had two choices. I could take the saturation down or if I was over here, I could go ahead and just adjust by hitting that black and white button. All right, let's go on to our third edit. So first we had cropping, Second, we had adjustments in here. We did our black and white. Now I really want to show you the presets as our third thing to learn in Lightroom. So I'm going to jump over here and I'm going to pick up my diagonal right here with these little mushrooms that were growing out of this log. So next, what you can see what we're going to do. Look how bright and great this is. But it didn't start out that way. Let's just take a peek and see what it started out. Look at these purples, these greens, these blues. But originally, it was dull like this. Colors are in there, they're just hiding. So your job is to pull the color out. So let's go to one that I've started with here. Okay, I have the mushrooms on the side of this fallen log, leaves on the ground. There's some color in here, but it's pretty dull. Let's do our first thing, let's crop. You get to decide what you like. Go ahead and play with them. If you've already done the one-to-one, -one, you've already done square, you've tried a four by five, try something else. See what you think, cut out the parts you don't want. I'm going to keep this pretty skinny. I'm going to take a lot of this wood out because I don't want that. And I'm going to focus on these mushrooms here. There. All right. Next thing is I could go into my adjustments and I could start to edit some things. But wait, we are going to play with our presets. On the bottom, you have a button that says presets. Now, some of you might also have a profile. If you scroll over all the way, there's two different ways to get to this. We are going to start with the presets. It should be the first button before the crop. So in here, you have all of these presets. It's almost like filters that are in there. But Lightroom is even better because not only does it show you the filter, but it shows you how to make the filter if you want to make changes yourself. So when you go to the presets, if I just mouse over them and just hover over them, I can see what it's going to do. Okay, not much. I mean, it makes the picture look really a lot better like this one. My vivid looks a lot nicer already. Let's go through creative. So I go through, oh, I like that turquoise and red. Now, all of these are great. I just want to show you that they're there in case you want to play with them. There's even some really cool black and white ones. Like that one gives you great, great texture. It's called Punch. I really like that one a lot. I also really like Split Tone. It has its sort of old photo look. It's a little bit of blue, a little bit of vintage toning. I really like that one. So there's a lot of things in there you can play with. I just want to show you where those are. But what I want to do is I really want to make some changes. So even if I did, let's do Vivid for a second. If I look over here, you can see it's going to show me what it did. Highlights down, shadows up. Oh wait, white's brighter, black's darker. That is the rule. So it already does that for me. It's going to show me it already boosted the vibrance and it boosted the saturation a little bit. So all those things are great. However, I actually want to make some changes myself and I'm going to show you some really cool things you can do. So the first thing, I already cropped it. I am going to do those same things 
highlights down, shadows up. I'm just make it a little bit stronger. I'm going to darken my blacks a lot more. I might even do a little bit of contrast. I don't usually like contrast, but I'll do a little bit. All right, here is where we're really going to play. So let's go into color. We first went into light. Now we're going to go into color, and I'm going to boost my vibrance way up. These are my cool colors. So you can see the wood still looks very natural, but look how bright these mushrooms are. I can also go in and I can make my saturation a little bit more and suddenly those warm colors show up. This orange, that yellow, this purple, all those things really show up. So you get to decide how much do you want in there. Now I wouldn't say go all the way. It's really bright in here. I'm going to show you another trick really quickly. So I'm going to pull this saturation up just a little bit so I can get some of that color, but I'm going to do something else. There is a little button inside your color and it looks like this. It allows you to go into the color mixer. So you're looking for the color mixer on your phone. In here, I can pick individual colors. So let's say I have this, but that orange feels just a little too weird. I can click on orange itself and I can change the color of the orange. So I could have these rich fall leaves if I wanted to. I could make them less saturated if I thought they were too bright and too distracting or more. So you can play with individual colors and I really love this because it lets, it lets me make the picture into anything I want it to be. I can take this violet and I can say make that purple way strong, including the magenta. I really want those areas to pop. If I don't know what a color is, I can click on here and go in and say, hey, what color are you? And it shows it to me. Like I'm really, oh, that's actually a blue in there. Let's go find that blue and see what that does. So I found out there's blue, even though I couldn't tell what that was. I just kind of mouse over and like, oh, it's two shades of blue. So I'm going to go into blue and notice even when I clicked on it, it went to find it for me. So I'm right here in this teal, the cyan. And when I saturate it, suddenly you start to see that color show up. I'm going to go into that blue and do the same thing. And suddenly these mushrooms turn into blue. And now my picture is so much more exciting than it was before. Let's look at the before. Look how dull that is. And now this. Now if you feel like you went too far, like I feel like I went a little too far in that teal, I can always bring it back. All right? I want it to be bright and vibrant. I don't want it to be crazy sometimes. I just want it to be like, wow, that's an amazing looking picture. So those are the things I want you to play with as you go through this. Once you are done with this, it on your phone, it lets you kick it straight into Instagram, Facebook, save it to your phone, whatever it is you want to do. So your goal is to just pick one, crop it, adjust the adjustments over here with both your light and color, and see if you can just make a regular photo look just a little bit better. Not going crazy, just enhancing one photo, still looks natural, just a little bit better than what you had before. Second one, try and do something in black and white. Remember you have those presets or you can just click the black and white button or you can go into the saturation and take the saturation all the way down and you're going to get a black and white picture. Try to edit one in black and white. Really cool. Third, get creative. Go play with some presets. Really go boost that vibrancy saturation. See what you can do to make a picture so much more than what it really was at the end. I love Lightroom. I hope you do too. I hope you enjoyed that. Good luck.